Back at the Enterprise Console, let's generate an Access Report. On the left panel, let's click on Audit and Access Reporting. The first time you do this, you'll be asked to run the Database Update Utility. This is a program that reads information from Active Directory and updates the Enterprise Database. You'll need to do this periodically. When this prompt comes up, go ahead and tell it to do so, then click on Run. The utility will go through Active Directory, reading a variety of information from Active Directory, processing it, and updating the Enterprise Database. After the utility is completed, click on Close. Now we're ready to generate reports. On the Reports page, under Report Names, we see various folders for the different kind of reports supported by Likewise Enterprise. Expand the Likewise Access Control Reports folder and click on the Computer Access Report. On the right side, we're able to specify various bits of information regarding what specific computers we'd like to see, which domains we would like to report on, and which columns we'd like to see in the reports. Just leave everything enabled for now and click on Run Report. Here we see the Likewise Enterprise Computer Access Report. This report lists all of the computers running the Likewise agent that have connected to Active Directory and for each one tells you what users are allowed to connect to it. Here's the machine that we joined to Active Directory earlier and if we scroll down we see that the administrator and that the J. Jones user are allowed to log on to that machine. We also see that the domain users group and the Apache admins group are available to that machine as well. The last thing we'll cover in this video is how to make changes to group policy. Back on our Windows computer, if we click on Start, Administrative Tools, and we bring up Group Policy Management, this runs the Microsoft Group Policy Management Console. In the left panel over here, we can see the Linux Server's organizational unit that we created earlier. Expanding that node, we see that below the node, there's a group policy object called Likewise Enterprise Settings for Linux Servers. This is a group policy object that was created by the Likewise Initialization Wizard earlier in this video. If we select it, and we click on the Settings tab on the right, we can see the various settings that exist in this group policy object. We can make additional settings to this group policy object by right-clicking on the object and clicking on Edit. This runs the Microsoft Group Policy Object Editor. The Group Policy Object Editor lets you modify group policy settings. In the left pane, we see that we have Unix and Linux settings both at the computer level and at the user level. Let's make a change to the message of the day policy at the computer level. If we expand the top node, we see that there's another folder called Message Settings. And we see that there's a Message of the Day setting. If we select that, and on the right side, we double-click on Message of the Day, this will allow us to define the policy setting. Let's set it to Welcome to Likewise Enterprise. Now that this policy has been defined, the next time our Linux machine updates its policy, which it does about every 30 minutes, it'll pick up this policy setting. Let's come back a few minutes later, after the group policy setting has taken effect, and let's see what happens. Here we are, back at our Linux machine, logged in as the root user. Let's see what happens when we SSH back into this machine using an AD account. We're prompted for our password, and this is our AD password. And when we log in, we see the message of the day as specified through group policy.
In this video, we've gone over several steps showing you how to install Likewise Enterprise, how to use tools on both Windows and Linux, how to generate reports, and how to effect group policy. At this point, you should be able to continue your own evaluation or review of Likewise Enterprise. If you run into any difficulties, please consult the product documentation. First, there's some documentation installed with the product on the Windows side. There's additional documentation available on the distribution disk, including various white papers and tech notes. And finally, the most comprehensive information is available online. If you still have difficulties, please take advantage of our product support options. First of all, we have various forums online. Secondly, if you have a support account, you can submit problem tickets online. And finally, you can call us. Additionally, your sales representative or marketing contact can help you as well. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.